On what seems a pretty unremarkable production line in Grand Rapids, Michigan, are the beginnings of something pretty significant. Amongst dozens of staff is a new employee, just two years old, but its owners say can keep up with the rest of them. This is Baxter, a world-first, truly humanoid robot within the manufacturing environment. At Rethink Robotics, we've developed a new sort of robot to go into factories so that ordinary factory workers can learn how to use it in minutes and get it to the new tasks every hour or two. Rethink Robotics founder Rodney Brooks came from MIT, but his fascination with robotic manufacturing began after a stint with consumer robotics business iRobot. Brooks was shocked by just how manual even iRobot's production lines were. Overall, 90% of tasks in existing manufacturing plants are still performed by humans. A traditional industrial robot is just following its trajectory, and if there's something in its way, it increases the current to its motors to push harder to get, th get through, so they're very dangerous. So the best policy for a traditional industrial robot is to keep people right away from them and have a safety system so that if a person gets nearby, shut the robot down. Brooks and his team came up with a plan to create a brand new industrial robot using the latest computer processing and sensor technology combined with software to let Baxter learn and work like a human. Baxter is a hardware platform. It's enabled by its software. The current software release lets Baxter get stuff out of boxes, onto conveyor belts, off of conveyor belts, into boxes. The sort of stuff you do at the beginning and the end of any production line. Later, we'll be putting stuff inside machine tools, opening doors and getting stuff inside machine tools and pressing buttons. But they're pretty simple sorts of things. They're stuff that, are, that are, you get very low grade labor to do, very repetitive. But it's how Baxter learns tasks that seen him sweep the factory floor. Typical industrial robots take as many as 200 hours to program, and that's an expensive task. Baxter could be taught by other workers on the factory floor without writing a single line of code. With Baxter, you show it what the objects are and what you're supposed to do with the objects, and so you're describing to it or showing it a task. The actual, you know, what, what am I really supposed to be doing here? Baxter has a model of that. The key to Baxter is that it comes with a lot of software built in and a, an intuitive user interface that an ordinary person can learn to use in minutes. And Baxter software and sensors also make it safe working alongside its human colleagues. Baxter is safe because it has so many sensors and it senses what is around it in the world and it senses forces. Um, and it has a sort of expectation of what's about to happen. When that expectation isn't met, it, it's, it stops. What's going on here? It slows down. It also has a face with eyes on it. When it's about to reach somewhere, the eyes look where it's about to reach. So if you're near Baxter, you never get surprised by its motions. And while Baxter is limited to simple tasks, Rethink is releasing a series of accessories to retool it for different roles. They say its sibling, scheduled for release later this year, will complete even more precise tasks, like circuit board installation, something that could transform consumer electronics manufacturing. But bringing humans and robots closer together on the shop floor also brings up questions on the future of the worker, James Ross from Bearings. It's always a worry when you hear about some new innovation, because it always sounds like people are going to be driven out of work by it. And to a certain extent, things are going to have to change. Baxter costs around $25,000 for the base model. Add to that its ability to work 24 hours a day, it could change the game for manufacturing. But that's something that doesn't alarm analysts. I would say, remember history. We've been innovating for the last 5,000 years, most recently during the Industrial Revolution. We've always come up with new things for people to do using the new technologies tools. That's exactly what's going to happen here. And as customers from GE and Vanguard Plastics welcome Rethink's robots to the factory floor, the company says Baxter is making friends too. Factory work is not a, a place that young people want to go into and, and do the tasks. People don't want to go into those factories anymore. We view Baxter as letting a, an ordinary factory worker do a lot more by giving them a tool that they can offload simple repetitive tasks, which otherwise are mind-blowingly boring, um, and then they can, they can worry about higher level things. <laughs>